Hello, warm, pleasant. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dave Morris. Thanks for clicking on the play. I hope everybody is thawing out after the weekend winter event. Here are a few headlines you can find in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on our website at newsok.com. The preliminary hearing for an Oklahoma City police officer accused with a barrage of crimes is underway. The prosecution called three of the reported victims Monday morning who alleged that Daniel Holtzclaw had inappropriate sexual contact with them while on duty. Holtzclaw was arrested in August and faces a total of 32 charges, including rape, sexual battery, and stalking. The 27-year-old officer has pleaded not guilty. Zacharias Musawi gives deposition to attorneys suing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Attorneys allege Saudi Arabia financed the 9-11 attacks and that Musawi gave information that is, quote, critical and relevant to their case. Musawi filed the lawsuit in Oklahoma City Federal Court, and our Nolan Clay will have more information in upcoming editions of The Oklahoma. You may have noticed several shops and restaurants have closed their doors on Western Avenue over the past year. These include the French Cowgirl, Forward Foods, Heirloom Shoe, and Spiral Beatery. Our business reporter Brianna Bailey has spoken with several business leaders who say despite the recent store closings, that shopping district will survive and new businesses are coming in to take their place. I mentioned the winter event. You may have seen the new electronic signs scattered across the metro highways this weekend. The state transportation Department uses them to communicate a variety of messages to drivers, and officials made use of those boards during the first snowstorm this weekend. The Oklahoman's Adam Kemp will have more on the state's snow plans and the impact of those signs in upcoming editions of the Oklahoman. Speaking of weather, we will see warmer and more seasonable temperatures. temperatures actually, I'll just call it what it is, seasonal temperatures. In the coming days, highs should be in the 40s tomorrow and the 50s on Wednesday and throughout the rest of the week. Look at that weekend. There's a chance of rain on Saturday. For the most part, we should see clear skies. There you have it. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on our website at newsok.com. Stay warm. Have a great night, everyone.